Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. My name is Muhammad Azhar bin Muhammad Shamsuddin, metric number AN180046. I am going to present my proposal for final year project 1 entitled Synthesis of Zinc O Nanofluid for Dye Water Treatment via Membrane Photocatalytic Reactor. This proposal is supervised by TS Dr. Nurhanis Hayati binti Hairum and TS Zarizi bin Awang. There are five main chapters in this proposal which are Introduction, Literature Review, Methodology, Expected Result and Conclusion. For Introduction, the research background of this study started from nanofluid, the latest nanotechnology evolution that has been used in engineering field. This technology has been used by industry that requires dye wastewater treatment such as newspaper and textile industry. Previous study on zinc O has proven that it provides great result as photocatalyst in degradation process. Therefore, this study intend to use MPR system and zinc O nanofluid to improve dye wastewater treatment. The problem arises in this proposal is dye wastewater characteristic that is aesthetically undesirable, toxic, mutagenic and carcinogenic. Not only that, the conventional method for dye wastewater treatment does not seem to compliance to EQA 1974 standard. It is also estimated around 5,000 tons of dye containing effluent was released to the environment annually. Hence, there are three main objectives of this study. The first one is to synthesize zinc O nanofluid under different state and dispersion method via precipitation. Second is to evaluate the performance of zinc O nanofluid for dye wastewater treatment via MPR. And the third one is to elucidate the mechanism of membrane folding via membrane fitting according to the theory of blocking filtration law. The scope of this study are the synthesis of zinc O nanofluid under different states, which are nanoparticle or nanofluid, and this special method either conventional stirring or ultrasonic. Also, the scope of this study includes the evaluation of zinc O nanofluid performance for dye wastewater treatment via MPR under room temperature. The analysis of treated dye wastewater is in terms of pH, color intensity, BOD, COD and turbidity. Next and finally, the elucidation of mechanism of membrane falling via model fitting According to the theory of blocking filtration law, is done by using MATLAB software. Zinc O is a semiconductor that has proven to give great performance as photocatalyst in degradation process due to its wind back gap. This is also because zinc crystal form wurzite structure that has larger surface contact for precipitation process. There are several methods that were used to synthesize zinc O, such as sol gel and polyol thermolysis, although precipitation is the best method for zinc O synthesis due to low cost, high purity and high yield production, although it requires deep eutectic solvent as reaction medium. For dye wastewater, many conventional treatment methods does not perform efficiently. This is due to dangerous characteristic caused by breakdown product of dye containing effluent. Thus, not all treatment method can be used to degrade all type of dye. The efficiency of wastewater treatment is evaluated via the compliance of EQA 1974 standards. If the effluent does not compliance, it cannot be discarded to the environment. Membrane Photocatalytic Reactor or MPR is a hybrid system that combines membrane filtration and photocatalysis process. Many researchers are interested in MPR system due to its capability of treating dye wastewater compliance to EQA 1974 standards without further degradation process needed and leading to treatment cost reduction drastically. Here are the schematic diagram of MPR system. In the figure, A is water chiller, B is ovate stirrer, C is photocatalytic reactor, D is UV lamp, E is feed, F is cooling jacket, G H pump is pump, H and I is pressure gauge, J is flow meter, K is recycle flow, L is membrane filtration system, and M is measuring cylinder used to collect permeate sample. 
Next, we move on to methodology. This chapter explains on the experimental procedure that will be done and parameters that being analyzed. The flowchart on the left summarizes the experimental procedure and the materials required is summarized on the right. Dye wastewater sample will be collected from a textile factory in Johor, Malaysia. The synthesis of zinc O nanofluid starts by creating a DES solution by adding choline chloride and urea at ratio of 1 to 2, then heated to 80 degrees Celsius. Then, 2.19 gram of zinc acetate will be dissolved in 30 ml of DES solution. Two batches of this mixture will be made. First batch will be stirred using magnetic stirrer at 250 rpm while the second batch is mixed using ultrasonic homogenizer. It will be done for a day to increase the production of zinc O. Then, precipitate of both batch will be filtered and dried for an hour using drying oven at 100 degrees Celsius followed by calcination process using a furnace at 550 degrees Celsius. The result of this drying process should give a white powder of zinc O. The 0.5 weight percent zinc O nanofluid can be created by mixing 0.5 gram of zinc O to 99.5 ml of distilled water. The performance of zinc O nanofluid will be evaluated through three things zinc O characterization, treated dye wastewater, and mechanism of membrane folding. Zinc O characterization will be analyzed using Fourier Transform Infrared or FTIR. The analysis of treated dye wastewater will be done in terms of pH color intensity, BOD, and turbidity. For membrane folding mechanism, the analysis method will be done using Wessner and Aptel equation via MATLAB software. Moving on to the next chapter, the expected result for this proposal. It is expected that zinc O nanofluid will be able to be synthesized successfully with support of previous study. For treated dye wastewater, all parameter is expected to be compliant to EQA 1974 standards. And lastly, the mechanism of membrane falling and flux decline of dye wastewater should be able to be clarified successfully through model fitting. The final chapter of this proposal is conclusion. To summarize this, the main objective of this study is to synthesize zinc O nanofluid under different state and dispersion method. The study is essential to confirm that zinc O nanofluid in liquid form that disperse through ultrasonic dispersion give better result compared to commercialized method available. At the end of this study, the quality of treated dye wastewater in presence of zinc O nanofluid is compliance to EQA 1974 Act 1 to 7 standards. Here are the gun charts for this proposal that was shown as follows.